electric family SUV that is spacious, practical, pretty, has got a solid electric range and fast charging? Well, some might have suggested the Volkswagen ID4. But truth be told, the ID4, in terms of looks, well, it is not everybody's cup of tea. Well, here comes the ID5 to the rescue. It is sleeker in a coupe style with a slopping roofline. It promises to deliver all the ID4 does. Plus, well, it just looks a little bit better. But what is it gonna be the verdict? Well, let's crack on and find out what the latest Volkswagen has got to offer. One, two, two three. So I am very well aware of the fact that I might have said that electric cars are all about being quiet, peaceful and comfy. Well, that's true. But let's not kid ourselves. Electric cars are also about acceleration. So let's measure just how quick the ID5 really is. I've got my magic box from RaceLogic, although it has been playing some vicious and tricky games with me today. So let's hope it has had enough time to gather its thought and rectify its behavior. So we're going to put you into spot mode, you beast. And I'm just going to floor it. I mean, that's all I can do, right? Come on, ID5. Show me what you've got. Mm -hmm. Off to a slightly slow start. So the declared 0 to 100 is 8.4 seconds. And I'm 7.95. Well, well, not bad. It could have been better, though. You know, I'm a go-getter. I want to be faster. I want to be faster every single day. But it is what it is. And the top speed is 160 kilometers an hour. I do think it is imperative to point out that me doing launch control going bonkers in this car behind the scenes <laughs> doesn't seem to be affecting the range. I mean, this range is made out of steel. It is non-destructible. Very well done, Volkswagen. Very well. Started out just like a lovely story You were mine and we were really happy Came around when I was pretty lonely Glad to find someone that I could be On to batteries and charging So we've got one battery size, nice and simple and plenty 77 kilowatt hours But we do have three motor choices The least powerful one, 174 horses The middle one, 204 horsepower Which is what I have with me today 310 newton meters of torque and then we've got the gtx version with 299 horsepower now this car promises a maximum range of 560 kilometers which is about 320 miles will the reality come crashing down on us well time will tell in terms of charging using a wall box at home 7.4 kilowatt hours you can take the battery from zero to full in 12 hours but if you're using those rapid chargers 135 kilo hours you can take the battery from 10 percent to 80 percent in just 33 minutes okay so how does the id5 feel to drive easy chilled relaxing ever so comfy exactly what electric cars should be all about the suspension here is soft it absorbs all the bumps potholes imperfections on the road as you trot around town of course being electric it is super quiet but even when you hop on the motorway and pick up quite a bit of speed there's no tire noise there's no wind noise and this is such a brilliant long distance cruiser and I know what you might be thinking. <laughs> Electric cars are not great long distance cruiser. And Anna, have you perhaps lost your mind? Quite possibly, but hear me out, because I've got a strong argument to back it up. This is actually one of few exceptions in terms of electric cars where the speed and the Model Y don't seem to completely rip your electric range apart. 
just to give you an idea, yesterday I was driving through a congested city, but mainly on the motorway, where I kept the speed at about 120 kilometers an hour. And I was able to get 400 kilometers, which is about 250 miles. Now the air conditioning was put to pretty good use because it was 27 degrees, so really hot. And this seems to be actually solid across electric range from Volkswagen, where the range literally is solid. The steering here is nice and light, but responsive, and it suits the character of this car perfectly. Now the ID5 is ever so easy to maneuver in and out of car parks. That's because of an excellent turning cycle, just like with the ID3 and ID4. And who really does like parking a car? I mean, you should see me park. You probably shouldn't see because you wouldn't watch the videos but here you hop into the id5 in the car park and you say wow i don't mind this at all now the visibility in the front is very good no blind spot and it feels a bit like a fish tank now the rear window because of the sloping roof line and the spoiler going nearly in the middle the visibility is not as good as it is in the id4 for example but listen, it's not Lamborghini Huracan where you can't see anything. And trust me, with the excellent cameras and parking sensor, it would take some talent to cause a collision. But not this All right, let's check the boot space. We've got 549 liters of space, which is actually a little bit more than the ID4. The shape of the boot is very practical. You can, of course, fold the back seats down if you need more space to carry your clutter. Look at that neat box for your ca charging cables. You even get the gloves. Do you know how dirty those charging stations are? Absolutely disgusting. Anyway, that is fine and that is enough about the boot space. Won't make me fall this time I have grown a and what about being a passenger in ID5? So, I've adjusted the front seat for my height, which is just over 1.7 meters, five foot seven. I've got plenty of leg room, very, very good headroom. I love this panoramic sunroof, looks so neat. Okay, the difference is ID4 versus ID5 in terms of space here at this back. What about the middle seat? Well, you see, this is purposely built electric car. So the floor here is completely flat because we've got batteries underneath it and you can comfortably fit an adult in the middle seat. How good is that? A climate control, two USB-C ports, some small pocket, plenty of space. I love this Alcantara here. I have to say Volkswagen has nailed the space here. You and me cheated for a long time. And what do you think about the cabin? I like it. I really like it. I love these seats. They're soft, comfortable. You've got Alcantara running all the way down here, which means no sweaty bottom in the summertime and no cold bottom in the wintertime. You also have seat ergonomics, which is a gentle massage. So let's activate it. That will put me at ease. What will help to keep me at ease is this armrest. Huh. Now the quality of the materials, the fit and finish is very good. And actually, I don't mind this color combination, gray, brown and black. Although personally, I would go for something much lighter, but that's just me. Nice steering wheel, shortcut buttons, clean and simple layout. Although the usage is a bit of a mambo jumbo, it does take a bit of time to get your head around. But trust me, if I can, you can. We've got this petite digital driver's display, but you see everything you need to see. You can change the layout a little bit to suit your needs. And you actually don't have a start and stop button in this car because you've got a gear lever here. And when you hop into this car to turn it on, you just have to brush on the accelerator on the brake and the car starts up. And the same goes for when you're finished with it. So just pop it into park, open the door, close it, jobs are robbing. It's, it's a brilliant feature for me. I have to say that uh, when I change my cars every week, well, I have been known to leave the engine on in the car park. But anyway, moving on, let's jump into practicality. Light bottle of water test. You can easily fit that in a door bin. Got a large pocket here and you've got carpet. So 
glass steel bottles one bang left and right and irritate you so very good you can pop that bottle in here in here of course large pocket down here we've got the shelving so you can adjust it as well very very good wireless mobile charging down here two usb -C ports okay you can close this pocket to keep it nice and tidy have your classic locked up good feature although tidy home is a happy home don't forget that glove box actually quite a big size you can check more clutter yet more clutter okay i love this sunroof by the way mm -hmm. it's very very very, very good okay on to the infotainment system so the system is a simple straightforward really good graphics crystal clear and crisp graphics in fact let's have a look at navigation so you see how quickly it responds to my fingers if you don't like it you can plug in your iphone or your android as well i personally actually like it okay functions information about your charging etc etc okay and then you've got these favorite things you don't have physical buttons to adjust your temperature or volume you have the sliders are they great no they're not they look good though but when you're driving they're so distracting but I think every single car reviewer, journalist, YouTuber has complained and Volkswagen has heard us all loud and clear and I reckon they will mm, rectify that, okay, there you go. But you do have shortcuts here for um, climate control modes, okay, very, very good. By the way, the seating position is really actually good and this seat massage <laughs> makes me so relaxed. I, I am complaining less about the sliders no not really i actually think that the cabin is such a strong selling feature of the id5 and it goes also for the id4 and for id3 because it's simply brilliant so we are rear wheel drive but don't get carried away this is no sports car but when you put your foot down it picks up nicely we've got one speed automatic transmission of course being electric we get instant torque and if you desire more punch well you can always put this car into sport mode so let's do that and let's floor it <laughs> well it is thriving and it is certainly more ambitious now i've got to admit i was a little bit worried a soft suspension the car weighing over two tons well well that's a recipe for a disaster just wait and see when it falls apart on a twisty road but i've got to give it to volkswagen the handling here is very good we've got batteries on the floor so a low center of gravity which means there's very little body lean on a twisty road <laughs> well done volkswagen well done you nailed the driving dynamics most important when you're driving even fast on a twisty road the id5 makes you feel safe secure and solid okay let's talk money honey my favorite subject so for the motor with 204 horsepower in the cheapest trim called life you'll have to pay about 55,000 pounds in the uk it's a little bit more than the id4 now is the id5 better than the id4 well it's just different different horses for different courses it's that simple now do i like the id5 better than the id4 well human nature plays funny games on us out of sight out of mind and we forget just how good they are although i do have very fond memories of the id4 having said that i think the looks of the id5 are still the winner for me but that's just me I want to point out that all three IDs from Volkswagen, ID3, ID4, ID5, are top electric cars available on the market today. And this brings me to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful day, whatever that you're up to. And I shall see you all very, very soon. Bye. Because beautiful sunroof. In terms of...